This is the Cholo News Report for Friday 14, December, 2018. Jihadists on motorcycles kill around 42 people in a series of attacks in Mali camps. Musa Agashara Tumain, a Turet self-defense official, said the attacks took place Tuesday and Wednesday in the sprawling West African nation's eastern Manaka region. Meanwhile, Malian authorities said Thursday they had arrested four men accused of planning attacks before the end of the year in several major West African capitals. Two Israeli citizens were killed and two others seriously wounded after a shooting at a bus stop in the Jewish settlement of Gavat Azov, northern Jerusalem. But in a separate statement, Abbas himself struck a different tone, condemning the violence, which he said harmed both sides, though he laid the blame for it with Israel. The climate created by the policy of repeated Israeli incursions into the Palestinian cities, incitement against the president, and the absence of a horizon for peace, are what led to this surge in violence, which we condemn and reject, a past statement said. The charge of incitement was a reference to posters, which have appeared in the West Bank in recent days showing President Abbas face within the crosshairs of a gun. A knife-wielding Palestinian assailant was shot dead in Jerusalem's old city, after lightly injuring two police officers by stabbing. The Hamas movement, which governs the besieged Gaza Strip, saluted the shooting, and in a statement said, it proved resistance was still alive in the West Bank. The flame of resistance in the West Bank will remain, alive until the Israeli occupation is defeated from the entirety of our land, and we regain our full rights, Hamas said. In the Pridal hours on Thursday, Israeli forces also shot dead a Palestinian accused of killing two settlers in the West Bank last October, following a Tumanth manhunt. Sharif Chikat, the suspected perpetrator of the terror attack two days ago that killed three and wounded twelve, is found and killed by French police forces. Interior Minister Christophe Castona said three police officers had spotted a man matching Chikat's description on Rue du Lozere, in the Noodorf area of Strasbourg at 21 local time. A large police operation had taken place in Noodorf earlier on Thursday, but ended apparently without results. Strasbourg Mayor Roland Rice said that finding Chikat meant the worried people of his city would now be able to return to a normal life. An unbrokered ceasefire is agreed upon between the two warring factions in Al Hudaida, Yemen. Troops from both sides will withdraw from the port city within three weeks to allow humanitarian aid coming into the country, which has been plagued by war and famine. Western backing for the sword Isled War has frayed in the face of mass casualties starvation and, more recently, allegations that the Saudi Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, was instrumental in organizing the killing of the Washington Post contributor Jamal Khashoggi.